Morning, Paige. Hey, good morning, Jim. How are you today? I am so good. Yeah? <laughs> How are you? Yeah. yeah. I'm good. It's a little early today. Uh, it is. Um, but it's okay. Uh, I, I was saying, like, I've got, like, bedhead. Like, if you look, you can see my hairs, like, sticking up back there. Yeah. Like, I've got, like, real, true bedhead going on here. But I looked Perfect. at this thing, and I, I told my wife, I go, hey, I got to go on camera real quick. How do I look? And she goes, you can't go on camera right now. And I go, <laughs> all right, thanks. <laughs> and I walked over to do this. So, yep. Yeah. Um, See, that's coming. the glory of the, you know, the, uh, po the ponytail holder. You just, you know. <laughs> nice, nice. I uh, sadly don't quite have the the uh, the hair for a ponytail. So uh, 70s Jim did, yes, but yes. I'm sure. But, you know, um, yeah, there, there was oddly enough a time I had longer hair. But <laughs> uh, let me uh, ask you this. Have you ever bought candy or soda or junk out of a vending machine? Uh, uh, yeah, I wouldn't consider it junk, but yeah, no, well, <laughs> definitely one hundred percent. Yeah, insert whatever garbage you're you're buying because there's not like you ever buy anything that's healthy out of a vending machine, is there? No, I want my blue Powerade. You know, full sugar. Don't give me that zero sugar. I want my full Powerade from those vending machines. That's what I do at the zoo almost every time I go to the zoo. I get myself a Powerade. It's fantastic. Wow. All right, so this segment is sponsored by Powerade, apparently. Okay. Um, yes. <laughs> Mountain yeah, Blue. You're, you're, and you're clearly not buying carrots. You're not buying. It's not like they ever have like healthy things. So, um, recently, this story came out, and I thought it was really, really interesting because. When you're buying this stuff from the machine, have you ever thought to yourself, I wonder if the machine has a camera that's staring at me? That, no, not really. No, I mean like maybe if no. you saw like a security camera because it's in like an unsafe location and they are like trying to make sure the machine doesn't get stolen. Okay, great. But I'm talking about a camera built into the machine that actually looks at you and then based on looking at you, it uses AI to decide how to market to you on the fly. Stop. I mean, this is not surprising. This, this is not surprising, but that, that okay, tell me yeah, more. <laughs> we're, we're getting into weird big brother kind of stuff. Like, this is strange to me. So it, it, recently it, it's come out, there is a company, I actually wrote down their name, Invenda. You guys can look them up, Invenda. Okay. They make vending machines where they do demographic profiling to try to get you to buy more stuff. And they even claim in their literature that they can get you to increase spending. I think they said like by 60%. I don't, don't hold me that number. It was something crazy because I guess according to their literature, what they do is they take and they do facial recognition and figure out, are you a man or a woman? And then they figure out, are you a child or how old are you? And then based on these things and possibly other things, that's the ones I saw, they then bundle items together and try to convince you to buy more stuff. So they look at you and they go, oh, you look like a person that likes Powerade. We bet you might also like this granola bar or something. So then they'll give you a no. bundled deal. Or if you're a little kid, they're going to stuff more candy in. They're going to be yeah, like, oh. You need Skittles you with your sugar. You need sugar on top of your sugar. That's exactly it. And... So now um, this all came out, there was a college and these, these vending machines were at the college and apparently the software crashed on the machines. And when it crashed, put an error on the screen saying facial recognition failed. And of course the students were looking at it going, what? Because it doesn't say anywhere yeah. that it's doing facial recognition. And so the students started investigating, they freaked out. And so now all the machines have been pulled from the college because they're like, this is way too invasive. And so the question is, you know, is it invasive? They're, they're, it's not like they're taking the footage. They've said very clearly, like, we're not taking images of you and uploading them or downloading them, keeping them somewhere else or storing them. It's, it's all on the fly. So technically speaking, they're not breaking privacy law. Um, but it still seems wrong for some reason to me. And I don't know, I don't know why, because technically, I guess... 
you know, advertisers do this all the time where they figure out as much as they can about you so they can give you offers that are tight. I mean, like, heck, every time you browse on the internet, if you look for a TV, the next time you go anywhere else, right. TV ads are everywhere now. I, I think it's more of the, you don't, you didn't know. You know, you know, so it's like, that's where you feel violated because, you, I mean, I'm sure, you know, we're being recorded everywhere, right? You're in a public, 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 public place, but where do you draw the line? My, my nails are very bright in this. <laughs> where do you draw the line? <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's, um. Well, I'm going huh. on vacation soon. Okay. So these are vacation nails. So. Is it, are you going to a circus? <laughs> I sure am, Jim. I am. I thought. What would be the most relaxing vacation? A circus. A circus. I just, wow. Well, there you go. And they were so. distracting. So I'm sure they're distracting. I'll, I'll, I will talk with my hands off camera. <laughs> I digress. Um, <laughs> no, I mean, it's really, uh, they didn't know, right? Yeah. And I think that's a, that's a really good point. But I mean, but on, in the defense of the company, the company said, look, you know, we don't have to disclose. We're not doing anything wrong. We're, mm -hmm. yeah, we're profiling, but there's nothing that says we're not allowed to profile. And sure, there's a camera in here, but we're not actually storing the images. We're doing it on the fly. And so, yeah, and, and what would they, how would they disclose that? Hey, have a little sign on the thing saying, by the way, we're looking at your face. I would, it would be, it's, it's a weird one. And I don't know that. I don't think you know that there's that there's going to be some simple solution. I don't think that lawmakers are going to be able to say, "Hey, you can't even look at a person's face." I, I think it's mm -hmm. kind of there. I just think the most important thing is for the average for us to realize this is happening now. Um, I do question whether or not those machines are online. My money would be that they are, and if they're online, that means they're vulnerable to being hacked. And if they're hacked, it doesn't matter whether or not the company intended for that footage to be being captured. If a criminal's on there, they can record everything they want and they can monitor everything. Again, I'm not sure how much value that's going to give them. I mean, I think they'd be more interested in the credit card information or other stuff that's being put into those machines. Right. But it is still um, interesting because, I mean, it's like any smart thing. Like when you have your, like for a while there, they had smart TVs that were putting cameras in them. And uh, again, that seemed like an accident waiting to happen because Sure, maybe the manufacturer didn't intend for you to do anything bad with it, but other people, I mean, don't you remember, we? I think we did one a while back where we talked about there was a, um, oh, I think it was like someone big, like Google, wasn't it? Or it was, it was like Nest. No, where, it was um, the Ring camera. Yes, where the employees were, were you know, the employees of the spying. company were looking yes. at the footage. And, and they're so, finding a, an attractive individual and then they see, your, you know, you name master bedroom or master closet or whatever. And they're like, ooh, this is a really good place, you know? So Yeah, yeah I don't know what you're doing in your closet, but the, the master bedroom, <laughs> yeah, that one for sure you'd want to film. <laughs> yeah. So this has gone really horribly wrong. But ultimately, just right. I guess where we should, and this is, be aware that the newer vending machines now do have cameras in them. And they are profiling you. And so the next time you see an ad or when they you go to buy like one thing and it says, oh, don't just get a Snickers, get a Snickers plus the soda plus something else. It's because they've looked at you and decided that's what you have. And I now that I'm saying this out loud, I do wonder if they go, hey, based on your size, you might want to buy three candy bars versus one candy bar. And I know that sounds horrific, but I do wonder if they're, if they're looking at you and they're doing actual right. profiling, they may look and go, Hey, this is a bigger person. I wonder if we can try to convince them to buy more stuff, which right. if that is actually happening, man, that's a dark world. It is. Well, and it also makes me wonder if they change the price based off of because you know they're bundling things, right? So they almost demographic wise are they changing the well, price? I will be, well, I'll be. That's awesome. Do we have a, we have some a helper today? We do. That's very cool. But but yeah, I imagine that that would factor in. Um, so yeah. now it get really funny if they look at your like clothing and they go, "Oh, you got a Louis Vuitton thing." Um, we're going to raise the price because it looks like you can afford more. Or if you show right. up and you, you look like you're in like raggy clothes, like, oh, 
This guy's probably not got a lot. We'll, we'll keep the price lower and still allow him to get a sandwich. Right. Or I, I, I'm the one in the front of the machine, so they're charging me one price, and then I walk away and I put my kid in front, and then they charge her another price. Yeah. Holy smokes. That? <laughs> Mom, look what what is, you got. What is happening here? I don't know. <laughs> All right. Well, I think I think we've uh, I think we beat this to death and really gone in places I did not expect today. But um, yeah. Thanks for your time, Paige. Yeah. You know what? Always a pleasure, Jim. Bye. Bye. What the fresh <laughs> was that? Oh, heck was that? Oh, she can't hear you. I was going like, I went like this. I can never recreate emojis. And I did not know Riverside did emojis. I, there. I, shut up. <laughs> shut, oh, I didn't stop recording. Hold on. <laughs> hey, everyone. I appreciate you taking the time to watch. If you have any questions, uh, go ahead and just fill them out in the comments. I read every comment that's posted and I'll be happy to either make a video answering your questions or I might just message you directly to get you the information you need. Have a great day.